Hey, Stratman here, programmer for pipware.com. Uh, I produce a, a lot of free software for the Forex community, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what's coming up shortly. Um, please excuse the, the horrible screen resolution look here. Um, I'm going to zoom in often on this. We'll just show you what that's going to look like here um, so that you'll be able to see things a little bit clearer. Um, I'll also be speaking reasonably quick because I need to get this video done within 10 minutes. Um, so excuse me for that. Okay, let's zoom back out. Right, overview. Well, this whole thing is centered around the THV system that uh, is is uh, on Forex Factory, the THV thread put together by Cobra Forex. Um, I thank Joe for all his hard work there and the team. Um, fantastic system and a great community of people if you want to uh, learn a bit about trading. Okay, on to the indicators. As you can see here, if you've seen the THV system, this top window will be very familiar. We've got the typical Heiken Ashi and uh, Coral and Cloud and uh, the pivot indicator. Um, in this window, I've recoded the, the coral to be a little bit more efficient. It was a little bit taxing on CPU usage. Um, the next window down is the Trix. So let's uh, zoom in on that baby. Now, uh, there has been a bit of a problem with the Trix. Um, it's, it's been an issue with a uh, number of bars. It can slow people's computers down and so on. I'm just going to show you if I go back in the past a bit with this, this thing. Uh, I, I fixed that problem, it will go back to the, the last few bars of your history. So, uh, and it runs a hell of a lot more efficiently. Uh, down in the next indicator window, I've got three, um, three time frames for uh, an overview of what's going on THV wise. Um, and the, the, the high Ashi with the Coral, I've got M15, M5 and M1, you can set that up however you like. And below them, I've got the appropriate tricks for those time frames. So, um, also, you'll note that if we, uh, the, these mini charts are a little bit different than the, the previous type I've made. They don't rely on a font file um, and they have some neat features. In other words, um, we can stretch them and so on. If we zoom out the chart, um, we end up with a good zoomed view of of the thing. So, hang on, let me just turn on chart updating again and uh, this thing should update very quickly there we go okay so you can see we've got a, a much bigger view here of this let's zoom in have a look what are we seeing well okay so first thing is let's just have a look at this euro usd chart this is the m15 chart it shows the coral uh with the heiken ashi candles um on the right hand side here i've got four indicators which represent the main um Thing. So this one here is, I'll just come over a bit so that we can see what this, this kind of is saying. Okay, so this is the coral lamp. So this, this here is telling us when uh, we've crossed the coral. Uh, red's indicating we're, we're below the coral. Um, the next lamp is showing us the cloud. Uh, green is saying we're currently above the cloud. Uh, the next one is the slow tricks. So color of the slow tricks, green or or red and also um, if it's kind of indecisive or flat that will be yellow. Uh, last last indicator is the fast trix lamp. Um, this is based on the trix is crossed zero uh, in the correct direction. It's the correct color and it's crossed the slow trix. So those indicators, all green, all red, good indication for trading. Um, particularly if you're looking at an M15 chart and you've got an M5 chart with you as well and you've got an M1 all on the same screen, very helpful for seeing a good trade setup. Down below that we've got the uh, tricks for each, each one of those. Very useful. Um, and it's got the oversold, overbought kind of conditions there as well. Um, so let's just get back out to the main overview of the screen again um, and zoom back into normal whatever. Okay, now one thing you will notice is that, um, if I just get this thing to update, okay. If you change the top time frame here, M5, M15, whatever, these three stay the same as whatever you got them set for. For me, I like M15, M5, and M1. So if I change the, the time frame of the top chart, these are still updating live and give you uh, an overview of what's going on in those time frames. 
What else do I have? Well, on the left hand side here, I like to see the normal candle charts, and I've got some new mini charts here. This is different to the previous style, no font file needed, and the moving average is not a chunky lot of dashed lines. Let's uh, show you what we can do with this. We can move them up and down, compress them. We've got the four lamps there again. Zoom in, let's check out that. Okay, so moving average there if you want it. Uh, we've got the four lamps available there for, for THV conditions. We've got a candle clock. We've also got a stop loss indicator. Now, a stop loss indicator, um, that's currently three times ADR. That's what we're used to seeing most of the time. But I've also added an extra feature which shows us the all time ATR, uh, three times ATR. And so this is telling me that usually this currency on the M15 time frame has a three times ADR of 38. Currently we're sitting at 22, so obviously the currency is not ranging very much, or not, not very volatile. In fact, it's half the volatility of normal, and we can see that by looking at the candles compared to the previous candles here. She's, she's really quite a narrow band. Uh, so quite a useful indicator to get an idea of volatility, plus also where to put your stop under current conditions. Um, I like to look at uh, four currencies. So I've got four different currencies shown here. Those are M15 charts for all four currencies. Um, I also have another window for each of those for the weekly, for the daily, four hourly, H1, M15. I want to see them all. Um, so I can quickly cycle through them, see my four currencies. You can set them up for whatever you like there. They can even be different currencies or same currency in the same window, whatever you like, different time frames, anything you choose. I also like to have a, a bit of a heads up on what's happening with the THV system in terms of the coral and Haikanashi stuff. So I've got the M15 set up there. Let's just quickly zoom in on that so you can see what's going on there. So there you go, we've got just a, a nice small chart there. If we zoom out or zoom in on that in terms of candles, um, we add more candles to the chart or, or remove them. So we've got that. I like to see the uh, M5 and I like to see the M1 as well. Last thing I have, which is the uh, my M15 chart. Now on this, uh, obviously creating free software for the Forex community is, is quite taxing on me. It takes a lot of time. Um, I have to earn my income somewhere. So there's only one indicator that I currently sell, and that's this baby down the bottom here. I'll just quickly show you that in case you haven't seen it. Won't talk about it too much because there's a video on that all on its own. This indicator here basically shows you the ranges for each uh, each market shows you when the market's open. At the moment, we've got the New Zealanders open. Um, it's currently uh, 11:21 in New Zealand. Um, in your own time zone, you can see uh, when the market opens and closes for each market, and we can see the the stats of of pip movement for each of those markets. We also got a few other indicators on the site. Right, enough of that. We're not marketing that, but um, the 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 thing above that is the the uh, the news indicator. This is free. Um, you can download that as part of the THV4 system. And um, this guy, Dirk Wheeler, I've tipped my head off to this guy. He, uh, incredible programmer. Um, a lot to be learned from that guy. Um, so this gives you your news, what's going on. Um, then further up the chart, I on my M15, I like to from my uh, my dashboard down the bottom there. I've got it's coloured. It shows me the New Zealand low. The New Zealand high, um, that's the current market that's open right now. Um, I've got the four hour low, uh, sorry, the one hour candle low, that's the previous one hour candle. I've got the four hour candle previous low and four, and a four hour candle previous high. Um, also, you know, any, any markets that were open, this is the US yesterday low and US yesterday high, and that's the full range across there. So, great stuff. Um, yeah, check out, uh, uh, guys, I really, um, you know, I, I can't stress enough, this is going to be great free software for you, but um, please consider purchasing my dashboard. It's only $19.95, which is really cheap when you consider all the, uh, all the time I've spent on this, and also the amount of, uh, of, of uh, free software time I've spent uh, putting all this stuff together for you guys to use on the THB thread. 
um, please visit my site metatrader.pipware.com or pipware.com. Um, we'll catch you later. This is Stratman. Goodbye.